or say? Which one should you use? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Like I said in the intro, Kanina, we're going to talk about the differences between say and tell. Kailan ginagamit ang alin? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin. And just a quick little plug, if you want to reach out to me directly, get reviewers that I made, or join the online or live review events that we have coming up, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika for more information. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC para ma-explain ko better itong concept na ito. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung discussion natin on say and tell. And in a way, Again, same discussion na rin for said and told. Tense na ang consideration natin sa paggamit ng say versus said, tsaka tell, tsaka told. We will not dive into that uh, dito sa video na ito. Ang pinaka-goal natin is yung difference between using ito or ito. Yun muna, okay? Now, a really simple way to sum up the entire thing is that you say something and you tell someone something. Pero masyado tong simple at hindi comprehensive ito ha. Kaya lang nakatulong din siya sa akin kasi sa aking journey as a trying hard writer, speaker, and uh, someone na uh, yun, consistent learner pa rin naman when it comes to the language. etong simpleng uh, memory aid na ito ay nakatulong sa akin kaya share ko sa inyo. So again, you say something, you tell someone something. Ibig sabihin kapag um, ang focus mo is the statement itself, it's usually say. Pero ang, kung ang sinasabi mo ay may sinabi ka sa ibang tao, um, you say, ang ginagamit mong word ay tell. Okay? And kapag specific quote, it's usually say. Pero again, hihimayin naman natin ito. Now, again, a bit of a disclaimer lang din. This is not in any way comprehensive at uh, lahat ng kailangan yung malaman about the language tenses and everything ay makukuha niyo sa video na ito. Hindi cash sa time. Pero ang focus natin here is how to use these words, lalo na sa language tests at sa exams na may fill in the blanks at sentence correction. Kasi dun nyo siya na encounter Okay? So, how do you know kung tama or mali ang paggamit sa kanya? At kung ano din ang tama o maling gamitin? Okay? Now, try ko na paging, maging simple siya as possible para sa dali ninyong tandaan. I created a table. So, meron ito. Yung table, eh, itong column na to is about say. Itong column na to is about tell. Merong shared sila kasi na paggamit. Tapos, ito exclusive na sa say. Ito exclusive na sa tell. So, we'll go through this table dito sa discussion na ito. Okay? The first thing is that kapag reported speech or information, you can use say or tell. Pwede siya for both. Okay? Pag sinabing reported speech or information, ibig sabihin may nangyari and then may isang tao na nagsabi nito. Ang thing kasi, again, Maybe one of the th reasons din bakit tricky itong topic na to sa atin. Kasi sa Filipino, di ba we say sinabi, oh. Sinabi niya ito sa kanya, may sinabi siya, sinabi ko. Yung sinabi, isang salita na siya for everything. Wala tayong masyadong distinction, kaya tayo medyo naguguluhan. So, ang gagawin natin is hihimayin natin ang use sa bawat sitwasyon. Okay, again, pag-reported speech or information, pwedeng say, pwedeng tell. Yan yung purpose. For example, um, we have something like this. Sabi niya, he blanked that he would be there by 6 p.m. Ano yung kanyang sinasabi? Ang sabi niya, oh, I will be there by 6 p.m. Nire-report yung speech na ito. Okay? So, uh, it's another way to think about how it is reported speech. Basically, you're saying that someone said this. You can say na he said that he would be there by, by 6 p.m. Okay? But, if you write like this, pwede ring told. So, he told me that he would be there by 6 p.m. Again, same naman yung statement, pero told naman siya this time. But, okay, if you have a quick eye, you would notice na merong pag pinagkaiba itong dalawang sentence na ito. At yun ay yung salitang me. 
Okay? Kasi ito, he said that he would be there by 6 p.m. Again, the focus becomes a statement. And ito naman, he told me, ibig sabihin may pinagsabihan pa rin siya, which is the first major distinction. Okay? Pero again, it works for both. Pwedeng he said that he would be there or he told me that he would be there. Okay lang yon, kasi reported speech naman siya. Now, kailan na siya hindi pwede dun sa kabila? Let's start with say. Pag directly followed by two, this is your first clue, lalo na sa exams, okay? Kapag naka-underline yan, tapos fill in the blanks, tapos yung sinusundang salita ay two, matic say yan, hindi pa ding tell. You can't tell to someone, you say to someone, okay? For example, sabi natin dito sa example na ito, he blanked to me that he was leaving soon, okay? Now, dahil ang kasunod na salita ay two, Wala na, hindi na pwedeng tell. Okay, finish na. Automatic yan, said na. Okay, he said to me that he was leaving soon. Okay, hindi siya pwedeng he told to me. Or he tell to me. Okay, kailangan he said to me or he says to me. Okay, yun yung gagamitin mo. Kaya say or said kapag may kasunod na to. Okay, now, Kapag tell naman, it's directly followed by the I-O or the indirect object. Okay, so, ano yung ibig na indirect object? Now, ang indirect object is the one being told. Yung pinagsasabihan. Okay, yun yung pinaksimpleng way ko kung paano ko interpret yan. Pero basically, kung yan, ito example natin, he blanked me that he was leaving soon. Again, kahawig nung sentence kanina. But if you notice, ang kadugtong nung blank is the word me. Like yung first example natin kanina, Sino ba ito? This is the I.O. or yung pinagsasabihan nung statement. So, sino sinabihan niya? Si me. Ano yung sinabi niya? He was leaving soon. Okay? So, kapag kasunod na kasunod yung pinagsasabihan, it becomes told. He told me that he was leaving soon. Okay? Pero again, kung sa Tagalog, di ba, sinabi niya sa akin na alis na siya. Sinabi niya sa akin na malapit na siya umalis. Sinabi niya sa akin. Parehong sinabi, kaya tayo naguguluhan. So, again, be careful with that. Pag to ang kasunod, say, kapag I-O or indirect object, pag yung pinagsasabihan na tao ang kasunod, it's told or tell. Next, kapag quotation na, direct speech na siya, yung mismong sinabi, direct quote na, ang madalas na ginagamit natin is say. Okay? May exceptions for tell. We'll talk about that later. Pero ang pinaka-simpleng sagot dyan is kapag may ganito na, say na siya. Okay, so sabi natin again, say is used with direct speech. Ang example natin would be this, I blank, you have to know your purpose. Okay? Now, eto, na-notice nyo, pinutol ko talaga purposefully yung statement, walang to, walang person. Okay? So, medyo toss up pa siya at this point dahil hindi pa natin na pag-uusapan. But, ang clue natin next would be the quotes. So, ito ay direct quote or direct speech. You have to know your purpose. Walang person na, pinag na kinakausap. Leaning na tayo sa say. Okay? Kaya ang gagamitin na natin would be said. So, I said, you have to know your purpose. Okay? Hindi pwedeng I told. Okay? Kasi walang pinagpapasan or walang pinagsasabihan. Ang sasabihin natin is, I said, you have to know your purpose. There is an exception pag tell. Pwede mo siyang gamitin kung direct speech as in my quotation. Pero if and only if, it's information or instruction na nasa loob ng quote. Okay? Let me give you an example. Okay? Sabi natin again, only lang ha, ibig sabihin, doon mo lang siya pwedeng gamitin kapag instruction yung binibigay or binib nagbibigay ng bagong information. For example, again, kahawig nung sentence kanina, may onting difference lang. I blank him, find your purpose. Okay? So, binibigyan kanya ng instruction. Binibigyan kita ng instruction. Inutusan kita to find your purpose. Tapos again, Present pa rin yung ating indirect object. So, I told him, find your purpose. Pwede to. Okay, it works kasi may I.O. Tapos may quotation. Pero yung nasa loob ng quotation, hindi basta-basta question lang or uh, phrase. It's actually instruction na to find your purpose. So again, you can only do this if you're giving an instruction or giving information. Okay? So, medyo, medyo nagiging, ano na, Nagiging faint na yung lines. But again, the first uh, clue here would be yung him. Yung player na yon yung indirect object. 
Now, ito yung next na distinction. We cannot use it for direct questions. Okay? Ano yung direct questions naman? Ang direct questions natin ay yung mga nakakote na tanong. Okay? For our purpose in this lesson. So, why should I listen to her? We cannot say, he told. Okay? For that. Hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin. So, wala tayong choice, kundi said. He said, why should I listen to her? Now, if you're going to ask me, hindi ba pwedeng he asked? Again, this video is only about said and told, say, or tell lang muna, ha? Huwag muna natin pag-usapan yung kaya nang ginagamit yung ask or yung speak na word. It's another lesson for another time. So again, kapag direct question na, hindi na pwede. Hindi na pwede ang tell. Pero pwede siya sa said. Which is yung next natin pag-uusapan. Kapag direct questions, we say, say. Okay? Ito. With direct questions, example, He black, why should I listen to her? He said, why should I listen to her? Okay? Kasi ito ay direct question, dapat said. And again, nakikita nyo walang player. Now, let me twist things a little bit. Kung lalagyan ko to ng, kunya, he black to me. Do things change? Okay? So, i ano natin, isi-stretch lang natin ng konti. Now, the answer to that would be hindi. Said pa rin. Bakit? Kasi, point one, this is a question, a direct question. So, said talaga siya. Okay? And, again, we have the do right there. Now, ito yung next. Sa tell naman, and tell and told, we use it kapag, kapag ang structure ng phrase, ang pagkakasulat sa kanya ay tell or told plus the indirect object, yung tigatanggap ng statement or pinagsabihan. Tapos, we have the two infinitive. Okay? Kapag advice or orders yung binibigay. Okay? Let me give you an example para mas maging, ano siya, mas maging visual siya. If you have something like this, sabi niya, he blanked me to stay and wait for the next boss. Okay? Ano yung I.O. dito? Ang I.O. would be yung me. Okay? Siya yung sinabihan. Tapos, meron ka nung to. Okay? Right here. To what? To stay. And wait for the next boss. So, sa case na ito, you can now say, he told me. Nag-uutos ka eh, di ba? Order and, or advice. So, he told me to stay and wait for the boss. Okay? Hindi, hindi he said, si, hindi, pwedeng he said me to stay and wait for the boss. Okay? Now, kung sinabi niya, he said to me, Tapos nag-quote siya. He said to me, tapos beginning ng quote, stay and wait for the boss. Yun. Pwede na yun sa said. Okay? Kaya nga, again, medyo manipis yung distinction kapag hindi pa tayo masyadong confident. So, you have to catch yourself every time you say it. Wait lang. Tama ba yung pagkakasabi ko nun? Tama ba yung pagkakasulat ko niyan? Check ko nga ulit. Pwede ko ba to i-rephrase para tama yung gamitin ko? Yun yung pinaka-struggle dito. Okay? Now, here's our table. Again, uh, quick run-through lang para recap natin before we go to the quiz. Kapag reported speech or information, you can use say or tell. But, okay, the structure or how it's written, merong onting pagkakaiba. Kapag directly followed by to, we use say. So, say to him, said to him, we say say. Kapag directly followed by the I.O. or yung tao na pinagsasabihan or tigatanggap ng message, okay, we say tell or told. So, he told her, you tell me. And importante yung pinagsasabihan doon. Kasunod na kasunod. Pag direct speech, may quotations ka, it's almost always say, okay, you can always use say. You can you tell, but ang limitation is if it's for information or instruction. Again, still following the structure. So, kung hindi siya information or instruction, you just say, say. Huwag mo nang gamitin yung tell. Okay? Kung sabi mo lang, uh, he said, what's up? Okay? Kasi yung what's up, question yun. Dito na tayo pupunta sa questions. Okay? You can say, he said, what's up? Pero you can say, he told me what's up. Kasi question yung what's up, question eh. Hindi na siya pwede sa tell. Now, kapag tell naman again, kapag ang, ang form niya or structure na to follow, we have the word, the indirect object, tapos yung mga two natin infinitives for advice or orders, we use tell. He told me to go to the grocery. 
He told her to stay. The doctor told me to wait. Hindi the doctor say me, wait. Okay, medyo barok na yung sounding niya. Now, again, a quick little side note here would be this. The more familiar you are with the language, the better you would be pagdating sa listening rule. Ang listening rule, and again, marami na nag nagtanong sa akin sa TikTok noon, if ang pinaka-explanation ng listening rule is, if it sounds right, it must be right. But that can only work, here's my advice, that can only work if well-read ka, magaling ka, uh, mag, mahilig ka magbasa, mahilig ka manood ng movies na tama ang grammar. If you're exposed to proper grammar, maganda ang listening technique for you. Pero if you listen to wrong na structure ng grammar all the time, if you don't like reading, malilimitahan din yung power ng listening rule for you. Kaya exposure is key. Now, bakit ko sinasabi rin ito? Kasi there are certain special cases for tell. Okay? Now, these are things that we tell. And for these particular cases, we don't say say. Let me give you an example. For example, we tell stories or we tell a story. You don't say, Mama, say me a story. Okay. Mama, say a story to me. You say tell. So, Mama, tell me a story. Okay, let me tell you a story. You don't say, let me say you a story. Okay? So, again, when it comes to stories or a story, we say tell. Gonna then for lies. Don't tell a lie. Diba? We must not tell lies. Yung sa Harry Potter, I was just watching the fourth uh, movie the other day. We must not tell lies. I will, I will not tell lies. I must not tell lies. So lies are told. You don't say lies. Okay? Next, we have yung truth. Kapag truth, you tell the truth then. Okay? You don't just say the truth. You tell the truth. Let me tell you the truth. Next, we have the time. Diba? You tell the time. Let me tell the time. Uh, I, I tell the time using my watch. I use my watch to tell the time. But you don't say the time. Okay? And yung future. So when we tell the future, we say yung mga mangyayari in the future. We don't say the future. Diba? Oh, ano, let, give me your palm so I can say your future. You, you don't say your future. You tell your future. Okay? Yun yung mga, again, these are special cases. These are things that we tell that we don't say. Etong mga to, ano na lang, exposure na lang yan, tsaka try to remember them. Especially when you're writing or taking a test. Okay? So again, a general na idea is that we say something and we tell someone something. Let's take this, no? Fill in the blanks siya. Para makita natin yung atake kapag nasa exam na siya, no? We have Paul blank Maria to work on this project. He blank to her. I know you're ready. Let's start with the first one. Sabi niya, Paul blank Maria. Na ano yung sumunod dun sa blank? Sumunod sa blank ay si Maria. Sino siya? Yung siya yung pinagsabihan. So, ito ay yung I.O. Directly kasunod. So, we could say na Paul told Maria. Okay, Paul told Maria. Hindi na pwede to, hindi na to pwede, dalawa na lang sila. Next, he blanked to her, I know you're ready. Again, this is a statement. Okay, tapos ang, sinusundang, ang sumusunod na salita dun sa blank ay to. So kung to ang kasunod na salita, that means this word right here has to be said. Okay, so he said to her, I know you're ready. The answer would be, a. Okay? So, that's how you break it down. Now, paano naman kung sentence correction? So, here's what I did dito sa inyong special quick quiz. In this entire paragraph that I'm going to show you, I hid yung mga tama at maling paggamit ng say or said, ng tell at told. And I want you to find all of these words and correct them kung mali sila. Okay? So, I'll give you time. Tapos sa end nun, we're going to discuss kung ano tama sagot. If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. Okay, so ito yung ating paragraph. It's, ito, it's the same one, ha? Lagyan ko lang ng space sa taas para dun sa mga magiging corrections natin. Hahanapin natin sila, okay? Isa-isa natin bawat statement. Sabi, you can't say people what they can or cannot do. Dun pa lang, medyo may parang off na dun, no? Kasi, hindi mo daw pwedeng sabihan yung mga tao. Pero again, sino na yung kasunod na word? Ang kasunod na word is people. Sila yung tatanggap nung sasabihin mo, right? So, ibig sabihin nun, it's better if we use, you can't tell. You can't tell people what they can or cannot do. Okay? So, we will change this into tell. Next, we cannot tell to them you're not, you're never going to succeed. Okay? Now, if you caught that, medyo off din, we cannot tell to them. Now, tanong, itong tell ba na yan? Tell ba dapat yan? O say. Now, ang next na word doon sa kanya is to. Sabi natin again, kapag to ang kasunod, this should be say. So, we cannot say to them, you're never going to succeed. Na next, people said me the same. Nako, parang may off, no? So, again, sino nagsalita? People, sinong pinagsabihan? Si me. Dahil kadugtong na kadugtong niya si said, okay, kadugtong siya, this should be told. People told me the same. The truth is that no one can say the future. Okay, now, if you caught that, ang sabi natin, di ba, if you use the future, as in yung para malaman mo kung ano hinaharap ng tao to foresee the future, we don't say say, we say tell. So again, kakancel natin yan. The truth is that no one can tell the future. Hard work works. We can and will surprise you. That's me telling the truth. Okay. Now, dito we have another tell or say na word. So, telling the truth. Tanong, tama ba yan? Now, sabi natin, the truth is always told, not just said. So, ibig sabihin nun, pwede natin gamitin yung telling the truth. Hindi natin babaguhin yan. Now, kung binago mo ito, ginawa mo siyang say dahil pinalitan nyo lang lahat ng nakita nyo yung tell at told ng say and said. At, napalita, at lahat ng say at said ay pinalitan nyo ng tell at told. Yan, hinuhuli ko lang kayo, kaya ako nilagay yan dyan. Kasi yung iba, ang ginawa para shortcut, lahat na lang pinalitan, no? Hindi naman ganun yon Again, it's, ano na yan, case-to-case -case basis na yan. Kaya ako yan nilagay dyan kasi ang translation nito in aptitude exams would be, kapag nakakita kayo yung sentence correction, alam niyo yung spot the error sa ang part ng sentence ang mali. Minsan naman, no error din talaga. Okay? So, you have to be confident. Pero, you would only shade no error kung sigurado ka talagang walang mali. And when you see the word tell, make sure na, it applies. At dahil truth naman yan, tama yan, we'll leave that as that. Next, I say you this with confidence after hearing the stories people say. Oh, dalawa na yan, say na yan. Isa-isay natin. I say you this. Again, ano yung sinusundan na word? You. Yung pinagsasabihan. So, anong mas maganda dyan? Ang mas maganda dyan, palitan natin yan, gawin natin, tell. I tell you this with confidence after hearing stories people say. Okay, ano ba tong People say na to. Ano yung sinesay nila? Ang sinesay nila are stories. Yan yun eh. Yan yung pinag-uusapan. And like we said kanina, we always tell stories. We don't say stories. So, ibig sabihin nun, yan papalitan natin ng tell. Okay? I tell you this with confidence after hearing stories people tell. Okay. Now, Ano tayo? Uh, babalikan natin yan mamaya when it comes to uh, editing your sentences. Okay? Dito muna tayo sa next. Whenever I say, never stop learning, I hope you hear me. Okay? We have a say right here. Ang tanong, tama ba siya dyan? Now again, ito, this is advice, this is a statement, this is a direct quote. Okay? But, wala naman ding pinagsabihan, walang object, walang indirect object yan. So, ibig sabihin nun, I can... Indeed, use the word say. Tama rin yung say na yan. Hindi nyo kailangan palitan. I hope you hear me. Tama na yan. Now, ito na yung sabi ko. Babalikan natin tong sentence na ito right here. Bakit? Kasi, if you notice, may tell na siya sa una, may tell pa siya sa pangalawa. So, ibig sabihin ito, and again, this is all about better writing. Kaya ako nilagay itong question na ito para dun sa mga gustong gumaling when it comes to writing essays. This is just a quick little tip for you from someone who edits other people's work, ha? 
kapag may tell ka na na una sa sentence, tas may tell ka pa uli, unless it's really a poetic choice, mas maganda if you just rephrase things para hindi naman tell and tell. Kasi di ba, ang awkward din nung I tell you this with confidence after hearing stories people tell. Dalawa na yung tell mo. So, you can actually change this up. Ang gagawin natin sa kanya, gagawin natin na I say this na lang. I say this with confidence after after hearing stories people tell. So, para lang hindi naman dalawang tell yung nasa sentence. Okay? Para lang mas improve pa natin siya ng konti. Okay? That's just my take dito sa sentence na ito. Now, Again, again, quick little editing tip lang din. Dahil yung never stop learning is something na can stand alone naman as a sentence, you can actually turn this into capital na lang. Never stop learning like that. Okay? Alright, I hope you did well today sa ating quiz. Kung medyo naguluhan kayo ng konti, you can always go back to it naman. And uh, if you want more drills and exercises, you can follow me on Instagram at Team Laika and at Laika Maravilla sa qu- quizzes natin. Pinopost ko yun sa aking Instagram story. So if you want to participate, don't forget to follow me there. And I'm also on TikTok right now. So you can follow me at Team Laika for the math and English lessons and at like a Maravilla naman for the motivational videos and advice. Okay? Uh, let's keep learning. Kahit online lang. I hope to see you guys there. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That thing is what I'm going to tell you. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, find out how to get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. That's also where I post yung mga updates ko yung mga free exercises, worksheets, or anything like that that I have ready for you. Thanks, guys. If you want to support this channel, uh, get the merch, exclusive mga shirts, caps, and stuff like that for Team Laika. That really helps yung ating cause kasi yung mga proceeds from that go to our Hope Fund, which help fund yung mga outreach programs natin and also help keep this channel going. Salamat sa inyong lahat na bumili na ng mga shirts, caps, and stuff like that to represent the team. Uh, I really am grateful for you guys for keeping this channel afloat dito sa ating goal which is to democratize education in the Philippines. So thank you sa inyong support, sa inyong ambag. Malaking bagay yun para sa akin. Salamat sa inyo. And as always, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.